So I'm just going to cover a few more things um, that we didn't in the last one, a few more properties. Um, most of these have to do with spacing. So um, I'm looking at the address right now. Uh, it's very rare that we do this, but sometimes we might want to do a text indent. This is giving us indentation. Um, most text on the web isn't indented. Um, we don't use indents like this, but we could if we wanted to. Um, so we have that option. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that because I don't like indents. Um, you also have something called, uh, oops, let's make sure that hit, a uh, new property, um, line height. This is for double spacing, so I could do 2M, for example, and double space things. Frankly, when I do design, I'll often do 1.1 or 1.2M just to give it a little bit of extra room, a little bit more um, uh, space in between. You can also do letter spacing. Um, Again, I will often add just a little bit of extra letter spacing. It's, uh, you know, you, you can, that's pretty noticeable, but if you do something like this, um, it's not very noticeable. Just a little bit of extra spacing. Um, or you could do a lot of extra spacing, I suppose. Or you could, even on most browsers, do something like um, this. Um, let's make that 0.1m, um, which makes it pretty illegible, um, but you can kind of mess with it a bit. There's also word spacing, um, which gives you the spacing between words. So you could have it do this, and then on the other hand, have a little bit of extra space between your words. So you have a little bit of flexibility here in terms of um, even if you're you have a, you're stuck with a set a certain set of fonts, um, there are some things you can change in terms of the way things look. You can also do some interesting things like um, you can transform the text. And if you taking a look again at that address up there, you'll see you can do none, which is the way it's originally typed. You can do uppercase, which changes everything to uppercase. You can do lowercase, which changes everything to lowercase, or you can do capitalize, which you, let's see, I, that may be the same as normal for us. Yeah, it is. That's unfortunate. But capitalize um, does just what it sounds like. It makes every word in it capitalized, which is good for titles or things like that. So you can do some transformations like that. Let's make it all uppercase for the heck of it. Um, no, let's just leave it the way it is. Okay. Um, and um, I'm going to pick out, oh, we're already in H1. I'm going to go up here to see that, so you'll be able to see this a little bit better. I'm throwing this one in just for fun. Um, and that is uh, text shadow. And we'll add a little bit of a, here I am using pixels. I probably shouldn't be using pixels, but I'm going to. Um, this is where it's going. You can see that it's created a little bit of a green shadow there. I actually want it to be more of a gray shadow. Let me just do three C's. Um, and you'll see that this is a very, uh, in this case, I've, I've been restrained. You can really misuse, misuse text shadow, but there's just a very faint um, uh, two pixel shadow behind that that has that creates a little bit of a more of a an embossed or standout look. You can do some other things like text embossing and other things in CSS3, um, but this is a very basic and very simple uh, thing to add. Again, text shadows and drop shadows can be misused. You can do drop shadows on images as well in CSS. They can be so misused, um, but um, if you do a light effect, it, it, it won't hurt anything. All right. Um, and so that leaves us. That's all we're doing with fonts and text for now.